The best way to lead a category is to create it. You know, there's not a lot of category creators out there. They make up about 13% of the market. But those 13% deliver 74% of the growth. It's because they're out there doing something new, something fresh. By being first, you can own that niche. You're creating a new game, and in that game, you're the winner because you've created the rules. Here's my mobile device right here. That's gonna be my wallet, and it's gonna carry all of my financial information. So we have beacons now showing up in retail environments, tracking my purchase. The consumer is spending more time on branded apps than they are watching TV commercials. In fact, apps are the new advertising. So we're looking for ways to use these apps as a way to dialogue with our customers. There's a movement currently in, in video. It's all moving online. It's moving away from your traditional TV set towards uh, systems like Apple TV and Hulu and Netflix. And a majority of these systems are, are uh, subscription-based and they don't support advertising currently. So what we're, what we're actively looking at and trying to figure out is how do we move advertising to the space that consumers want their media. We developed some white label platform apps that you can use. One is a retail platform where consumers can engage through content, entertainment content like movies. We advise our clients not to just buy media but be the media through branded apps, branded TV shows, branded commercials, branded content. So traditionally television is a very difficult thing to get into. For example, CBS, if you wanted to launch your own network, it would take 18 months and $750 million. There's no better partnership than having Microsoft on the back end and creative agencies like DBA to deliver that final mile. You can launch network scale in a week. We also create wellness apps. Um, we create uh, apps for physicians to engage health systems and for consumers to engage in their wellness to keep track of their health. These apps are helping people overcome things like smoking and they're sleeping longer by simply using an app. Thinking about things like Nike Fuel Band, Google Glasses, and whatever is next, whether it's the microchip in your finger to controlling targeted geofenced messaging down to the corner of 2nd and Main. Um, the media landscape has completely changed in the 20 years I've been involved in it. For instance, 86% of adults under the age of 50 don't read the daily newspaper. So the old days of being able to take these mass reach vehicles uh, don't exist anymore. So currently we're planning and placing media in mediums that weren't invented a month ago. As far as the future, I can give you my strategic approach, which is to always be learning, ABL. Um, but as far as the, the tools and the tactics, I can't even tell you what first quarter is going to look like, which is pretty exciting because it hasn't been invented yet. Uh, that's why we have a very disciplined uh, process for planning at DBA. Measurement happens at each checkpoint in the process. And in fact, uh, in the strategic planning process, we establish what success looks like. And uh, we, we're held accountable for achieving those goals or those metrics uh, throughout the process. Okay, I get it. You're going through a daunting task of choosing an agency. There are those agencies that create great TV commercials, and that's important. There's agencies that digitally engage, and that's important. Really, that's all coming together. We call this coming together of the media, the participation age. It's an age where the consumer is saying, I want to have a dialogue with you. I don't want to simply be shouted at. I don't want you to entertain me. I want to have a conversation. It's about having that dialogue with the customer. And we look at these new tools in new ways, and we use them to have a conversation with the brand.